It's your girl, Jazzy K with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. You're not tuned in to something super tight. Puffin' something sticky, nigga, I roll through the light Need to hear something real just to get me through the night I'm looking for them jackets cause I know they looking shy No, I'ma get some game tuned in with super tight, yeah I get the low love from Big Bobo From the front seat, not no photos Already, baby, what it do? It's your big dog, Bobo Luciano I wanna thank everybody again for tuning in to Super Tight TV We back, up your back, going smack, smack, smack Ew. Just like that she, I hope it feel good to you. Damn, sure feel good to me. That's that raw naked head. I got Hold my up. huh? We just started. We can't even get five seconds in. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, you I just gonna, had you to sit. Is this talking dirty after, after midnight? No, or I mean, I'm super tight five, TV. Five, like, five, which five. one is it? Uncut. Okay. <laughs> is the sun down yet? So, I mean, I ain't been do that. Hoes, my wife said, okay. I'm, I'm feeling awkward already. Okay, this whole he will. She do that. I, I'm trying not to do that. <laughs> but if she stops no, stopping me, I'll show. It'd be a little bit of both of y'all. <laughs> if he, if, <laughs> if she stop me, oh. quit stopping me. And let go with the flow. I got my sexy ass, gorgeous, beautiful wife. It's your girl, Jazzy K. In the building. <laughs> we good? We great, baby. You looking good, baby. Me hey. too. See, Gator say you trying to make him feel uncomfortable. I promise I'm not. Oh. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> I don't let the cat out the bag. Say, man, I got the artist formerly known as Gator Mine. We going to call him Kitchen Key, baby. Damn it, man. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I can't get one of my Steve Harvey intro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's all right, though. I've been waiting for this one. Since my boy. The, since the snowstorm. I know, man. We, you really I know, have. Like, we're supposed to have been in there a long yeah, time ago, man. But we the, finally getting to it. The snowstorm stopped us. Better late than never, huh? You know why? Maybe he did. Because I don't walk the block till my feet hurt the slab, man. I'm tired of hearing that shit. You oh, know no. Don't say man. <laughs> Nick, what you, you think I'm tired oh, of hearing man. biscuit up off me? Oh, man. Every time I go in the club, they going to run that Whoa. around. I did, did 13 albums since then. They going to run that around. He said, I'm so tired of hearing that shit. But that's the one. That's the one. Man, no, you gotta love that one. I walk in the What you think Chuck's out of here? Nah. What you, you think Chuck's out of here? Southside the realest? He got about two trees. I'm thankful for it, but yeah. I mean, come on, run something else. Let's run something else. Yeah, you can't. I got some other tracks. I promise. You got that, <laughs> take some of that new shit yeah. that I heard. Yeah. We're gonna talk about all that. But well, we're gonna start at the beginning. You know, let's let's let the, the, the pretty wife get it started. Oh, excuse me. The beautiful wife get it started. I mean, either or, you know, I'll take it. Already. Um, Thank you. <laughs> so, Mr. Gator Man, we've been waiting a long time to get you at the table. Man, we finally we doing it. And now that you here, it. this fam though, we got to go down through there. Yes, yeah. For those yeah. that may not know, are y'all gonna ask me controversial questions? Do you want me to? I mean, you I want mean, let it go. Yeah, let, let's we, we go. I might ask you one. I got. I'm one. not gonna drink. So, like, y'all ain't finna bait me in with that. With that, we like my drink machine. On, <laughs> on, on we made ourselves. We made ourselves. Full of tequila. No yeah, worries. Nah, we made nah. ourselves. You want a shot? Nah, nah, nah. I'm good. Want some four twenty? No, 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 no. We don't have any four twenty. You don't even know why you don't. You don't either. My guys out there, man. The audience, no. <laughs> <laughs> Already, anyway. so get it started. <laughs> Let everybody know where you're from, born and raised. Um, Triple D, man, it's Dallas, Texas, man, by way of Highland Hills, Oak Cliff. Ooh. I lived all around, man, but Highland Hills, nigga, man. What's that zip over there? 75241. Ooh, that's hey. a hell of a zip code. 75241, man. If you mm, don't know, so. now you know. So, what high school did you go to? I went to Wilma Hutchins. Did you? Hutch. Yeah, I read it. Okay. Was Simp up there, the band director? Yeah, yeah. God rest his soul, man. Yeah, that's my cousin. Right. Yeah, oh, that's my boy, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. God rest his soul, man. Big I read son. it. I read it. You knew his uh, son? I don't think I, I don't think I knew his son. Yeah, his son cooked that barbecue. Big Daddy's yeah. barbecue. Okay. Put that truck up there and be Y'all go check out Big Daddy. She be in front of yeah. Big Lots on Saturday. Oh, for sure. <laughs> for sure, for sure. The Soto. I'm talking about. Got, oh, I've been hearing about that boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He been doing it for years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's up with that. I think he got an ongoing. Uh, it's that a, boy got a clientele. Yeah. He got people coming, pulling up on him. Yeah, he, I've been he hearing about good. him. I didn't know that was Sim Simpson. Oh, that brisket tight. That brisket real. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all making me hungry. So we went to Wilma Hutchins. Um, did you play any sports out there? 
I played a little ball, man, but my heart was in music really the whole time. So, man, I, I knew I wasn't finna try to go to the league or go play no college ball. So, you was in the music early like that. Yeah, 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 man. Like, you know, I'm a little older, so I've been around since rap been around. So yes. I knew that it was what I wanted to do I for life. It. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. yeah. So when you came up, was it a, uh, you know, we go deep. Two-parent mm -hmm. household, one-parent household? Uh, no, I was one-parent household. My mom was a flight attendant. So uh, we lived in the cliff, but my I'm born and raised my grandma and all them. It's Highland Hills. So yes. I, I spent a lot of time with them, with my mom being a flight attendant. And yes. Shit, so. Oh man, she flew all over the all over the place. Yeah, man, and, and it's good to really let your kids experience mm -hmm. getting out and about so when they grow up they know it's a whole world out there. Yeah, that's it's right. just that's sad because it's young niggas ain't went past Let Come Go. On, bro. Ain't went past and some niggas ain't true. left South it's Dallas. A whole world some niggas ain't left Oak Cliff. It's a and whole world out there, to. man. That's yeah. sad, man. But if you don't know nothing else, you get complacent. You, you know will, what I'm saying? You will. That you were a lot, a lot of us, especially. The, so I was, uh, I was blessed to kind of get out, good. see a little bit. That's, That's good, bro. Up. Shout out to mom. And so uh, you said you got a, how many siblings? Uh, my dad's side, I got a, a a brother and a sister. And then just by my mom, it's just me and my sister. And we just lost pops. So we yeah, sure. yeah, man. God sorry. rest his soul, God man. A couple soul. of weeks ago, just lost my yeah, old man. Yeah, you know? man. I'm sorry for that, bro. He was a good dude, man. Play old dude, man. Really? Yeah, he played. He play. he had a, That's uh, where you got it from. He had a uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a he had an orange Corvette, and he and he pulled a orange speedboat with it. So you already know. Then oh, he had like a nigga. good time, and he had a <laughs> orange. Know that? And they had an orange good times van, so you already mm -hmm. know. Oh, yeah, the seventies. Oh man, you already know. Straight he was 70s. out at the lake. He gonna do all that house. Oh yeah, the good times, man. Hey. He yeah, living man. in the seventies and eighties. He, he definitely was a ladies' man, man. Oh, really? So your father was, like, was involved. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He was there. Right. That's was good. There. That's beautiful. Yeah. So uh, we came out of Hutch. You say you wasn't no sports or anything like that because you already feel like a little basketball and then I, in little league and all that kind of shit. But other than that, like I say, it was it was music for Were me. Were you ever in the band? Nah, but you know what? As I like, you know, back in the in the day, like you considered a geek down there if you fuck with the band. You was. You just considered that. Like you by, by real niggas, you considered I'm that. Sorry, you were. Yes, but I regret it because I should have went. I, Come I, on. I wish I would have was in the band instead of trying to play ball and shit. Now y'all be listening. I, I should have. I wanted to learn those instruments. Yes. Mm -hmm. My biggest regret is not learning more instruments and not learning Spanish, not taking Spanish See? class. Uh, more something. Serious. Something our parents probably. Your parents told you to do that. My not mom, really. My no, mama no, did. Mine my mama. But like me, I took French because it sounded pretty. They told us to take French. Yeah, yeah for real. Like, I, I, I used, when I was young, I used to say, I want to learn how to talk that yeah. French shit. I, I learned how to talk French it. French it's not, you don't here. use it. Now, now I, I want to learn Mandarin. It's just so discouraging because it's so hard. It's not that hard. You know what, baby? Speak something for me. I, 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 I don't know. I don't oh, know Mandarin. Just, I'm just, just saying. Just, I'm just saying it's not that hard. Oh, my, my focus is Spanish now. Shit, all those scribbly lines. My focus is like, Spanish now. Okay. Be a whole so, sentence with seven scribbly lines. Like how you get on Duolingo. Shit? They now they, they not um endorsing or paying us anything, but well, like Babel, I heard does as good. Um, I didn't. You tried it. Yeah, yeah like I wasn't Duolingo. feeling I wasn't feeling bearable like that. But Duolingo for me was like because they make sure you know how to read it, write it, say yeah. it, and learn all the. So like for me, I took Spanish through, and it's like I'm. I'm, I'm I wish I would have learned back. Spanish. Me too, bro. It's not too late. No, it's yeah, easier yeah. now. It's easier it now. It would be better for us when we was coming up in the. But yeah, that, but they say when you a look little look kid like a toddler, if you keep it's definitely it in there. easier yeah. as a kid. But like. Yes. At the age they started trying to teach us second languages in middle nah, school, we weren't paying no attention. Yeah, this. it's easier now because you're like, oh, okay. We need to do that for at least then. Yeah, right now. But so, uh, when was the first time you decided to say, you know what, I'm gonna take this music serious? Serious is like, uh, you know, probably after high school, like when you spend some money on it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fuck with Poncho. You remember Poncho? Come Dream on, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Man, hey, look, that's when uh, that's when they first started burning CDs. Poncho was there in the charge no sixty dollars burn one. Damn, dang, the burn CD seventy for one. Mm. We didn't give a damn. Oh yeah, we yeah. Burned our cell phone on CD like we damn show did used to give do a that. Damn, her. for real, for yeah, real. We, why they used to do that? We used to pay well, it too. Well, well, it was it was new. We used to pay the technology it. was so <laughs> new. Yeah. <laughs> The technology was just new. So had to have it, though. Yeah, you could do it at home. So they started putting them CD burners yeah, on the computers. Boy. And it was like, what? And bootleggers went crazy. Yeah. In line. <laughs> yeah. But they life in real estate. I still got a few at the hands. Man, you know, we're we, we going to have a section on the bootleggers. 
Nah. We might have a show. I, I ain't going to. That's a good idea. The only reason we can't. Well, them, them niggas are not the new ones I know. And I already went to jail okay. for it. So they the probably good be ones. Right. The good ones. Oh, the, yeah, the yeah. The big ones, the big ones? They didn't go. Yeah. And they was integral. And I yeah, came they, they, they ain't trying that's to why we, like that's, why we can't, that there, that's why we can't talk yeah. about it. Yeah. yeah. Now we talking. Yeah. <laughs> now we talking. I was right mm-hmm. up there supporting them. Mm-hmm. Both bizarre. The movies, anyway. And it was on the movies. Oh, Oh yeah, that not be a good oh, comedy. Nigga, I still got so many movies at the house right now. Just a, w- written in a sharpie. <laughs> Man, I okay. hear some. I heard some kind of way the um the CDs, the certain CDs in like Japan or somewhere they going crazy on. Oh yeah, like, they come over and buy them. Yeah, like yeah, I, heard yeah, I saw been, some. You remember that crazy they do? About what? All they, old they shit. Want, they want old hip, like the older hip hop artists. That, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The, That's a fact. Because like probably in about the past three, four years, I heard the West Coast niggas really been over there. Yeah. Well, because they it's just no, now getting because it's music. no a lot of the underground people. You know what I mean? They miss that wave of streaming. Yeah. So it's like valuable if they can get their hands on it's, them CDs. It's something up with That's the ones why they in Japan. Need to because that guy from Cottonmouth, shout out, but uh uh. He normally hooks up with him, and he'll put take him around the city, and he'll buy everybody CDs. <laughs> yeah, he probably taking them back over there, making a bankroll. Mm-hmm. Come on, bro, okay. he gotta be if oh, he's yeah. that interested. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, shot. I met him one day in the, in the parking lot. One day, I said, "Man, you remember?" I said, "That's all I got, bro." He went through everything. He said, "I'll take these few." Gave me my bread, and I wonder. I wonder if he uh, duplicating them. Probably, probably, probably so. Yeah. Got to. Got to. How are we going to know? Exactly. No, yeah, because <laughs> it, just taking one makes no problems. sense. Mm-hmm. He got the master copy mm-hmm. now. Mm-hmm. Come on, man. You better not get no CD to nobody. That's the master. Mm-hmm. So we was over there with Poncho, Dream Circle. Everybody had a right, right of passage going through uh, Dream okay. Circle. Yeah, early, like early yeah, in, right in, in the hip hop. Like yeah. everybody had to go through him, man. Mm-hmm. And uh, who's doing your production back then? Uh, really, it was uh, it was in house. It was me and um, you know, Mr. Kool Aid and. You know, hey. kind of it, it was uh it was more in house really. Shout really. out, Mister you know, Kool-Aid. One, we went to school together. Yeah, that's one thing. <laughs> I re- that's one thing I regret is uh not still doing beats because my first that first project that worldwide I dropped, I probably did half the songs on really? the album. Yeah, mm. but then after that, Cold Turkey didn't do no more. I don't know. Really, after that, I I kind of started lacking musically because niggas started hustling and kind of trapping this shit. So yep, yep. I was kind of running with what was paying a nigga. You know, come mm-hmm. on, come on. Yeah, that's a lot of us make choices. <laughs> okay, we just had to you know, like, yeah. oh, trap doing these numbers and these CDs doing these numbers. So like, that's why niggas get caught up trying to do both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch both a Rico fun. cases. What? Oh both yeah, of them. both of them. That's mm-hmm. real. So, um, when did you decide to put out to say, you know what, I'm, it's time to drop some real music. I'm about to put my mm-hmm. first project out. Well, and, I, I started out with uh with Big Dank. And uh, with HHP Records. So yes. that's who I started out with. Shout you know? out my brother, Big Dank. Shout King. out Dank. Shout out Dank. Mm-hmm. And then uh, after that, um, I got with a uh, Big Worm with Eternal Life Records. Yep. And Worm, you know, he was a street nigga. He just, you know, kind of. Worm from North Dallas? Nah, nah. He from over there by Velt. Okay. Kind of like okay. the Denley, all that over yeah, there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, man, Worm, he, he put that bag behind it. So. That's when we start like just getting vans and jewelry, and <laughs> we start kind of really doing it like bigger, you know. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That was dope. So that's yeah. when we really started kind of just. She was fun. Yeah, yeah, it was. Worldwide. Worldwide. Let's talk about it, baby. That's man, it, it was. Come on, bro. It, it, it was just a fun time. Like, like music done had its eras to where it's when they fun. come out in the ninety, like 90, 90 two thousand. Like, oh yeah, yeah, right at like ninety nine, yeah, two thousand. Yeah, that was when we was in there, wasn't we? Man, it was a. Uh, it, it was just. It was just the creative process was fun, and then as you got older, then it not it wasn't fun no more. Then yeah. it get fun again, then it don't get fun. Yeah, it was like yeah, yeah. I, I think we just get frustrated by it not just yeah. panning out. Like, is it fun now? Through. With the social it, it, media it, shit going on? I think social media don't make it fun <laughs> or not fun. It's just, um, it's fun for me now because I kind of done took the stress factor out of it and yeah. I'm enjoying making music yeah, yeah. and not worrying about what was the stress factor for you? I think, I, think, I think just that and trying to just, um, you know, we want to make, you know, platinum is the goal. Yeah. So when it's not, 
happening time and time again, man, fuck this shit. Oh, yeah. But, we, but every time you say fuck this shit, the gang gonna punish you. Yeah. yeah. Like, That's you gotta okay. give you 100%, you know? Come on, you real with that. Mm -hmm. I mean, when we say we get frustrated, the word of the day or the phrase of the day is gotta keep on pushing. You yeah. gotta push yeah, through. Sure. You gotta persevere through all that because, yeah, it's gonna be some ebbs and flows. Yeah. And, you know, you put your best foot on that motherfucking project and you know that's some heat. I think the worst thing, too, is, like, I'm horrible about, like, I could have a song that I absolutely love. Yeah. <laughs> but if I go and record it with an engineer that don't capture that fucking essence, mm. if that whole recorded bad or if it's yes. not reverbed right or if it's something, it just, and I scrapped the whole song. I done scrapped some great songs. that Why I just, scrapped the whole song? For one, I hate re-recording. Mm. Like, I'm not going to ever re-record a song. It's just... I just don't be having that same energy to re-record it. So if it turned out bad, I'm going to say, man, fuck this oh, shit. Man. Gator, there's a lot of people out here, bro, in Dallas. More than Dallas, but I got to speak for our city. That have always considered you the top echelon of hip-hop rappers in Dallas. That's that's a hell of a compliment, too. And I mean, I that's, that's coming from people like Kevin A., I mean, some of the big names, yeah. you know, who people who are in the industry. I mean, I don't mean to put you on blast, but she Kevin, they think you are these. I, and, and, and we've always had a good relationship. We've never tried to do no business, but we've always uh, talked and yeah. compared no, but, notes. But, 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 but as far as your he's craft, just a good dude. Like, but as far as dude. your craft, he respects that craft. Yeah. But, but it ain't on that. It's because it's deserved. I mean, you know what I mean? Appreciate the effort. I mean, because every verse, especially now, what you're spitting. You yeah. know, from from all the shit that you did on the um, uh, Pimp album and uh, oh come on Gator, mm -hmm. come on Gator, <laughs> yeah, I've been down through that man. Talk about uh, the rap a lot experience. Um, from your was, eyes, it was it was cool, man. It was cool, man. Shout out Jay Prince, man. He, he yep. really blessed the nigga game. Um, really me. I never really knew Pimp. Uh, I, I I knew him. I, like, I paid him to come through and kind of do some verses and shit. Yeah. But I never really knew him on a personal level. I never yeah. kicked it with him like y'all did. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I can't really just give too many about that. But he came through. But when he did come through, man, he looked nigga and I say, yo, nigga, I appreciate it. You doing yeah. your thing. You keep doing your thing, boy. He out. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> you got this close to nigga. But, hey, my boy, you doing your thing? Yeah, hey, you crazy. Hey, I got to go. You know, he yeah, yeah. on to the hey. next, get in the bag. But I respected him. Come on, man. Yeah. He's, hey. he's he's the sound of Texas. Yeah. So, like, yeah, how can you sure. not respect that? But yeah. from that, so after he passed, uh, Jay Prince was, um, you know, he was working on kind of gathering music up. And I yeah. had that verse. You know, I had the option of, Using a verse on my project, yeah, but yeah, yeah. me and Jay worked it out, and mm -hmm. man, here, man, whatever you need, I'm trying to put the, you know, a, a last Pimp C album yes. together, and making that decision went forward to him putting a nigga on other shit mm. with other artists. How many? Which, how many more projects did you end up on? Since uh, I was on, um, I was on the Naked Soul of Sweet James Jones, and then I was on. Um, well, that that was since the '90s, right? Yeah, yeah, that. Okay. And then I was on uh, the anniversary album. Okay. But I was on about three, four songs on the anniversary. I'm one of them is one with um, Wayne and Trey songs and wow. Luda. And that's, that was one. And then the other one was Chameleon there. And I forgot I was on the other one. But he was, he, he like, that was player of him putting me in the mix. Oh, for on sure. that. He didn't have to do that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So, Jay always respected my talent. So it's, I don't have one bad word to say about That's what that. I was about to ask you. That's why I say it's different because of the mm -hmm. internet. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We older people, so we can know how to maneuver I'm, through I'm, the bullshit. I mean, I've been, a, I was an artist first, but then I was a CEO. Yes. So I understand both dynamics both like, yes. of both. So yeah. if you're a CEO in the business, man, and you paying this mm -hmm. shit, and the artist, like, you hmm. know, like, but you I'm know, sometimes about, you can be a little more shrewd, but he's a, he come from the streets. He's a shrewd on, bro. guy. So yeah. he wouldn't have got this far without being shrewd. <laughs> I don't know too many friendly. Millionaires. Yeah, for real. Like, you know, yeah, yeah. self made millionaire. That part. You know what I mean? It ain't like you so, were born into money. Wait, wait, wait. You from Fifth Ward. Yeah, yeah, I forgot something very important. Oh, shit. Make me, yeah. me get it, baby. Come on now. Get on track. So, brother, <laughs> uh, you know, we at the big old Texas table. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you came to the wood table. Oh, man. You know, we love positive energy. Mm -hmm. I gotta 
We have to have you rub the blue star. Yes, sir. For the oh, man. The then it's yes, blue. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, Mine right, too. Right, right. Yeah, you see, I dress you for your occasion, <laughs> baby. <laughs> so, man, for sure. That's for your positive energy, for anything that's... I know we working on something because I just heard it. Yeah. And, and, and one thing I don't want you to do is sit on this shit. Yeah. I, I, I think, like... I've I've taken breaks away from the game, but what I've never taken a break away from is actually creating, listening to music, yes. learning from music, mm-hmm. cadences, flows, yes. n- listening to new artists. Like I've never detached myself yeah, from, from the, the music game. in that aspect. Yeah. So now it got me with a sense of a nigga can, you know, kind of fuck oh, yeah. around currently. So, so, so when I'm shit. talking about this internet shit, when we when because we are pretty as far as Thinking about dealing with it. I'm talking about the fans. Not you coming from a CEO. Not you coming from an artist. But think about these youngsters who have to maneuver through. Think about if we was 19, well, 20 well, years old, 21, 22. Well, me, me personally, it's frustrating because it's just kind of like a, a play too much kind of time. It's right too now. much, bro. Like it, it's just like when you can when when like Stevie Wonder can have a bad day and do some, be looking crazy, yep, yep. and it go off totally viral, yep, and right. you making fun of Stevie Wonder. I bet you. Like I just, like yeah. I, I don't really like. It's kind of hard to take a grasp. Like I care about what people think of me. I care me about what people think of my craft. Yes. About you know what I'm saying. So, yes. but you got to have thick skin and can't. Boy, really, yeah, you do. You can't really care. Like no, nah, because you got you can't really care. What yeah. they call but I, 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 I've never wanted to be uh, known as a gimmick. Like I've always been serious about my craft. So yeah. I didn't like when they were trying to gimmick C strokes. Yeah. Mm. Like I'm gonna give him a. Give him a rap name, all that kind of man. It's my partner. This nigga go hard. This nigga, yeah, yeah he's big, but fucking shit, a lot of big niggas. But I didn't like. I don't yeah. know. I don't like that poke fun, and I really don't like. Oh yeah, I'm. I'm gonna let him poke fun of me just to get. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Like, no, 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 stand yeah. up. Yeah, you got to stand and, for something. And, and for a little minute, Dallas was being known as mm. that poke fun, gimmicky kind of guy. Like, it was around, like, with the 52 Savage. And, you mm-hmm. know, I don't know, bro, personally, and nothing yeah, against yeah, him. Yeah. It was just like they were kind of making fun. Like, nah, yeah. fuck You talking about that old cat, huh? Yeah. I'm like, yeah. nah, fuck all that, man. We ain't, we ain't, ain't no fun time. We ain't okay. fun niggas around here, man. No, not Fun size. I know that's right. Nah, got a question, babe? Girl, I'm enjoying the conversation. Oh, I jump in when I need to jump in. Oh shit, you okay? <laughs> Man, it's just I and I've and because I've kind of been stern in it since I've always got the reputation of being difficult to work with mm. or being confrontational. Yeah. Now I'm just calling from who though? Yeah, just, for real. Just, I, I mean, know, from just, engineers, from different artists, from man, who? from artists, from other CEOs from other people in the music from like from like just different people like it get back to me not personally but yeah, it yeah, get yeah, back yeah. to me but like once again I'm serious about this shit like yeah. and if you doing some whole ass shit I'm gonna call you I've that always part. been a nigga I'm gonna call you out on it like, it's, it's mostly people in Dallas I can't right? bite my tongue that shit it's, that shit eats me up to bite my tongue well mm-hmm. if it's your crowd and you the artist sometimes you got to though not if it's mm-hmm. your crowd and you the artist you mentioned that <laughs> Uh, throughout everything, you always remained a studier and a lover of the arts of music, hip hop, rap, writing, whatever people mm-hmm. want to call it. How have you seen your style progress over the years? Uh, from just when just, you, you just change with the times. So like once again, I'm mm-hmm. a student of the game, kind of. So, I uh, like if, if if you're not trying to better your craft, or if you're not trying to learn, or if you're not yes. trying to do something or do something different than you done done before mm-hmm. and it's stay cookie cutter, what yeah. are you doing it for? You're not doing it for nothing. You're just well, doing it for, you, you're not. You're not trying What to, are you doing it for? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're so not trying just, to improve. So like, I don't know, that's what I've had. Like, I've always challenged myself to kind of keep going above and beyond. Like, and get better and better and better. And then I've had, a, I've always had like a team of niggas around me that mm-hmm. we're going to challenge each other. Like, yeah. man, I just made, 10 words, I just made 10 words rhyme in this song. I'm finna try to make 20. Yeah. I'm finna try to make 30 words rhyme in this oh, song. Really? And that led to me doing the 100 word challenge. Oh, I got a song yeah. called a 100 word challenge where I make a 100 words rhyme. Then I did it again, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, if you're not trying to, and then in subject matter wise, if you're not trying to really upgrade and talk about some meaningful shit. Yeah. There you what go. What you doing it for? There's a lot of people out here talking about a lot of boo-boo. But winning with it too, so I can't. Knock say, it. Well, yeah, there you go. I they, can't knock it if they win. No, I'm not it. knocking nobody. Crowd, 
Because, mm-hmm. but I like substance too. Bro. Yeah, yeah. I like to hear somebody talk almost cookie cutterish, but give me that meat, bro. I like to, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. no. Oh, but, 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 but it's <laughs> pause. <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> Don't hit the pause button. What time to give me, Gator? What time to give I heard it when it came out of my mouth, bro. I said, oh, shit, as soon as it left. As soon as it left, I wish I could, whoa, nigga, get that, whoa. Show ass back in there quick. Yeah, for real. That's how you know it's too much. Too yeah, much man, yeah, yeah, man. I'm going to stay out mm-hmm. the sauce, man. Yeah. As you were saying, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, live from Miss Judy's. Yeah. Man, that was that was a fun project, man. It was, um, once again, it was another project where, like, you know, it was just kind of on some mixtape shit. Of the, I, I, I don't really do very many mixtapes. I like original songs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But on that particular project, it was kind of mixtape-ish. So, it was good. It was, it was just, you know, kind of trying to, like, I knew I wasn't dropping a project yet, but I still wanted to be mm-hmm. in the mix. So, I like, it turned out good. You got a lot of uh, positive feedback from that project, though. It was, you know what? It did it was, what it did. You, you, you know what I, I haven't done over the years is kind of promote good yeah. on, on current projects. Mm-hmm. And, and with me, I obsess about a project so much. And like if I do a song and if I half ass like the song, I'm literally going that night listen to that bitch about 200 times. Oh, yeah, I know how I am. That's how yeah, Like I mean, it's yeah. just, so by the time I'm done with a whole project, the bitch down there, mm, mm. it's old. I'm ready to oh, down there, go why. to the next one. <laughs> You gotta promote though. That's why. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It. But with uh, live from Judy's uh, Diamond D. Yes, I kind of partnered up with him on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with him at the time and at the bazaar and yes. all that. Yeah, yeah. He floated that bitch. He floated that bitch a little yeah. bit. So like, shout out to Diamond. He did. Shout out to Diamond. Diamond, come holler at me, bro. Don't be like that. You. Yeah, brother. yeah. You definitely. That's why I definitely. Need him, man. I ain't seen him in some years. Man, he's still doing his thing. I need to catch some flights. Yeah, he's still doing his <laughs> thing. Man, I miss Diamond. Yeah. Still SCJ, on. what's up? You know SCJ? Yeah, yeah, that's my boy, man. He's been, he been, he been a good partner and avid supporter of me for a long time. Bro. Really? So, yeah, really? That's, Everything that's, Dallas. You got to shout out SCJ. Come on, he, yeah. yeah. SCJ. Oh, he, he Sammy. He's support. Yep. So, you don't do many interviews. No, no. I saw you on our brother's podcast, uh, the Lit Podcast. Shout with out Mr. Mr. Loudon. Mr. Loudon. I don't think he asked you the question that I'm about to ask you, okay? And I hate yeah. to go there right now, but I got to do it. I don't know if you saw our brother's Real Life Street Stars interview with Mr. Nike. Mr. Nike. Um, well, I know you did because you had to, because your name was mentioned, and I'm pretty sure somebody called you and told you that. Yeah, and sent me the links to it. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know how people do it. Of Ooh, I'm a tell <laughs> looking at <ass> nigga. <laughs> yeah, I was uh I was I was turned on to it. Yeah. Know? What are your thoughts on that? And do you have a no one's talked to you or asked you to respond about that? Or um not just, to respond, but people has a, have asked my take on it. Yes. And my take on it is why you? Why bring it up now? Like any of that old stuff? Like it was your, years ago, wasn't it? So on Mister Nike's behalf, it had nothing to do with you. Why are you bringing it up? Hmm. Like why are you talking about it? Yeah. And then another thing is, it was fabricated because um, it never happened. Well, the, the whole you know he was like, man, four hundred him and four hundred those yeah, yeah, niggas yeah, 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 at yeah. a show and yeah, yeah, Mr. Yeah. Lucy and Mr. some Lucha. nigga pull mm-hmm. up and mm-hmm. 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 never happened, bro. Mm. I was never at a Mr. Nike show. That never happened. I would have remembered that happening, me saying, I'm going, fuck that nigga, I'm going out there. I would have remembered. Oh, on, yeah. yeah. That never, I, I, I did a lot of drugs back then, but I ain't do that many drugs. Come I don't remember bro. that happened. Well, you do remember that was the X-Pills day. Nah, I we was all rolling back then. 
I tried it one time and that wasn't your forte. Well, I tried it once and my dick didn't get hard, so I ain't fuck with uh, it. Yes, it would do that. That'll do. It, it would never, do hell, no. that to you. No, bro. hell no. Goddamn, I was I was a slut back then. That yeah. bitch got to work it all the time. I ain't know nothing. <laughs> But as, far, but, but as far as the Nike situation, for one, once again, it was clickbait. It was like, let me tell a story or some shit I ain't had nothing to do with. Hmm. But that never happened. Bro, the day Mr. Lucha and six niggas get in a van and come look. If you believe Mr. Lucha and six niggas clear. then got in a van and came and looked for me, you also believe in the motherfucking two fairy and yeah. Santa Claus and never got done thank you. <laughs> Mr. Okay. Lucha, come on. That is not, it can't happen. Oh, y'all cool. Yeah, yeah, Lucha, my nigga. It was yeah. a misunderstanding, and uh, I got down on one of his partners, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But we worked that out. We done talked since then. I done, And then that next week, I was at a North Dallas event with all of them. The very next week, I was at the House of Blues at their show. So it, you was with, with, with Pookie two weeks ago. Yeah. Man, come on. So, like, I, like, once again, like, that street business, and yeah, it shit yeah. happens. Shit gets sticky in the street sometimes. But, but as far as Nike is concerned, are you, that are you and his a Nike cool? I mean, we've been cordial. Like, like I see him out. You know, he's like, I've never hung with him. I've yes. never. He's just not a partner, partner of mine. Okay, okay. But you know, I've kind of come across him in the streets. But you never talked to him about why he said that. No, nah, I haven't. I haven't seen him or talked to him. I don't why he said that? He's supposed to come on this show, bro. For one, four hundred niggas ain't finna go to a <laughs> Mister Nike event back then. Four hundred niggas ain't finna go fuck with a Mister Nike event. Yeah. So, see, I never met him. I never met him. At all, he he kind of used to run with um, he used kind of try to run with Trey and Zero and kind of consider himself ABN. Yeah, I did hear that. Yeah, well, I heard that in that interview. But but for one, back then I can say this, he is perfect for how the kind of um controversial podcast shit is now. Back then he was that nigga that's gone. I heard such and such as that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you do such and such? He mm. counted up. Oh, yeah. In the middle of trying to get it started. Oh. So, really, if he would have caught the beginning wave He'd be rich right now. That nigga be rich he, right he now. That, he that nigga, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Messy? <laughs> I mean, I'm just, wanna, what? Well, no, it's a lane for that. It's a lane mm. for that. It's some people that... that it's, it's... Yeah, it's some... That's just, and, it's and, a lot and, of them. And, and people want... It. And once again, it's, it's, it's clickbait. It's clickbait. So. It's a lot of people got that. Uh, I just feel like it's that. hard when you start out like that. You have to keep up, like drama filled situations, just to stay. But but, but those are people. That, but those are people that totally bank on the drama mm-hmm. to national inquiry. Yeah, yeah. What mm-hmm. you call that tabloid? Them, mm-hmm. Those are tabloid bloggers and podcasts, yeah. and and it's needed. But no, nah. so let's talk about our brother. DJ Beto. Hey, Beto. Shout out Beto. Yeah, shout out Beat Beto. Easy, my boy. Yeah, we got, you know, we can't. Come on, man. <laughs> What's up with Beto? Man, Beto gonna keep, Beto gonna keep something going, Jack. He okay. gonna be all At all times. Man, Beto gonna be in Florida. <laughs> he gonna be in Atlanta. He gonna be here and there, man, trying yeah. to get that shit going, man. He uh, he pushing the, uh, the UGK alumni doing his part to... Keep Pimp Legacy alive. Yes. And mm-hmm. My boy moving around. And, you know, we got, we got some. Kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, for sure. kids, yeah. So we got uh, we, we got some business. And, you know, we be doing our thug thugs. You know. That's real. How'd you meet him? Um, Really, we both worked on um on that, on that Pimp project. Yes. And, you know, like, uh, that's why, like, once they would start kind of putting that together, we crossed paths and kind of threw Big E a little bit. And, yeah, yeah. You know, shout out Big E. So it's just kind of that, that was around the time I was meeting Red and mm-hmm. Jay Ellis and yeah. kind of the whole kind of rap a lot of people. So we met around that time, just stayed cool over the years. We ain't really did a whole lot of music business, but we stayed cool over the years. Now, uh, when we're going to switch the name, when are we going to switch the name officially? Is it ever going to get switched well, well, officially? I, I, well, I kind of been easing into it because I dropped, you know, like I've been going by Kitchen King. Mm-hmm. So I dropped the uh, the Gator Main is Kitchen King, Key to the City, that project not too long okay. ago. Yeah. And then the D-Boy Diary Part 2 is going to be all just Kitchen King. So yeah. I kind of just doing it gradually. It's almost like on some alter ego shit. So yes. okay. if, if, if people levitate to it, fine. If they don't. I'm ready to hear that shit. Okay, man, I it's know it's gonna be right. Yeah, man, it's it's, it's a stop nice it, bro. Don't, Ken. It's a nice. It's I nice. mean, bro, <laughs> <laughs> say, bro, Ken. 
We're gonna have yeah. to promote this. It's, one. it's, it's, it's uh it's never too late to hit that reset button. No, but you know what I'm saying? Never too sure. late to hit that reset. Especially button. today. In today's time with for sure. again the internet, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I mean everybody got their own lane. I mean, look at our partner right now. I mean, I don't know how cool you are with him, but big homie show. And there yeah. ain't no youngster. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I'm not familiar with him, but he doing his thing with that single though. Bro, uh, it don't take but one song. Yeah, you know what I mean. You all you gotta do is drop your album, bro. Mm. I, I know you got it. Uh, that and uh, and do visual. Uh, nigga, really don't be. I don't really be doing visual like I should. Me either. You know? Me either. I didn't either back in the day. It's just, it's just. I come up in that old school G era of the world. Put that camera on my face. Yeah, yeah. Man, that that's me. still hard for me. <laughs> me it's too, hard, bro. Man, hard, we man. had to get used to this, nigga. <laughs> hey, that night we was together. No, all them cameras. Yeah, no. And people are like, well, y'all need to go take live. Take this picture. Take this picture. Take y'all this need to go. Bro, and it's like, like what? what? Yeah. People start doing that. All. Yeah. yeah. Hey, y'all on live. Everybody <laughs> like, who is this with this camera? <laughs> hey, Ray, but 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 hey, Ray, stay going live. <laughs> but but in this day and age, it's needed. You know? Yeah, it's definitely. Yeah, we got to kind of ease into it because I'm not used to it. Uh, yeah, you know what I'm there talking you about. Go. So, uh, what do we have coming next? Are we gonna get that project? Oh yeah, yeah, man. The D Boy Diary. I plan on dropping that uh, this summer. Is that what I think I heard a couple of songs on? Uh, yeah, I think you might have heard a couple of those songs. And then uh, me and A-Ray, uh, shout out A-Ray. Me and A-Ray got a project we almost done with. Really? Yeah, that's Just you and A-Ray? Yeah. A-Ray on that bitch rapper too. Really, really. A-Ray, he don't like... He don't put himself out there as an artist. He's, he's very, such a very, producer. yeah. Uh, yeah. But artistry-wise, boy, he's like, man, he... Just that kind of sorrowful, mm-hmm. kind of in your feelings, kind of chick that's singing and all. Yeah. Man, bro, got that shit hands down. Mm. So I heard last time y'all was here, y'all left and went and made a hit. Mm-hmm. Beto was here. Yeah, and, and then made we probably like a, we probably about seven eight songs deep into the project. Mm. Mm. So, so both of y'all, it's a it's a and, joint. And, and it's a, and it's a great combination because he on this young nigga shit, and I'm on my OG shit. Yeah, and normally mm-hmm. it would clash and not fit. But man, that shit meshing beautifully. Mm. That shit is coming together. He's doing all the tracks. No, no, we like really? that. That's one thing he's doing. He probably done did out of the cellmate. He done probably did two of them, two okay. three of them. Okay, but um, so he's really, as, really doing his thing as we speak. Hey, tell him to come in here. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, we talking about him right now. I know, right? As we <laughs> hey, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so, ghost, what's up, man? What's mm-hmm. up, hey, Ray? But uh, yeah, man, the project that bitch coming out dope, man. And, yeah. Well, let's like, talk about A-Ray. How'd you meet him? Man, I met um I actually uh my studio is um is in North Dallas. And he was working uh out of another studio in the north and mm-hmm. just met and you know, just we hit it off. That's my partner, man. That's yeah. my nigga. So shit, we got we just kept that motion going. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And um talk about the uh is it nut quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My boy did that Glorilla, man. My yeah. boy, he's, he's, he's got that old old Glorilla placement on that thing, man. But yeah. shit, since then, like he, he been he been on to he damn near the go to producer for the young chicks, like as he should. Yes, be. Like, yeah. right now, that's so. his niche, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's your lane. Yeah, so run yeah, through that yeah. bitch. It was wide open. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that motherfucker so, long as Lou 12. Yeah, yeah. So, bro, uh, he definitely doing his thing, man. He, he he gaining pub and working with people out of Atlanta. And he from Mississippi. But, bro, also working with people uh, in Memphis. And mm-hmm. he in that circle. He he, he doing he doing what he's supposed to do. For sure. Hey, man. The man got to hit with that nut quit. Yeah. For I, sure. Man. I'm, for shit show. I'm glad I know him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I know You know, it's good to see people, that, the growth in people. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? They come in here next time. They might have bodyguards and shit. I might have to go through management and shit to book an interview. You know, he in, he in there with his bodyguard now. Oh, this is good. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I like that though. I like that though. I'm talking about, but you know which ones I'm talking about. Yeah. Nigga with motherfucker look like Secret Service ass nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga like Keo. That part. So, anybody in the game you think you might want to work with or you just want to keep your your shit just solo? Man, really, really, re- re- really, really this uh this I project really this yeah. this D-Boy Diary uh, part two project, uh, it's my first project with no features. Really? Ooh. Like, so it's a whole project. So, when you when you ain't doing features on a project, you gotta find ways to keep it exciting. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. gotta change up 
your flow schemes from mm-hmm. verse to verse, not yeah. only from song to song. Mm-hmm. So it's been it's been fun, you know what I'm saying? I, and it's kind of show people you can hold your own. Yeah. That part. So uh, it's, 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 it's a good project. It's what you cool. think about this old rap scene in Dallas right now? I think it's just kind of it's just kind of bland right now since three done died. Honestly, since yeah. more three done died, God rest his soul. That was yeah. my partner. Really? But uh, yeah, but so since three done died, it's just kind of I don't know the niggas that was beefing with three. I think they missed the shit out of three right now. He kept them relevant. Yes. So it's I think, but 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 like I say, it's a. I'm also seeing a new wave of mm-hmm. niggas coming up and mm-hmm. niggas doing their thing. BL Double or uh, Big X the Plug. He. Big as the plug, that's who really mainly holding this whole all the way down. Right? He is, man. He got a lot of motion. Yeah, so, I'm ready for him to drop. And bro, it. And, and bro yeah. deserve it because his uh his work ethic is uh is is up there. It's top tier. Yeah, he, so. he don't stop working. Mm-hmm. I mean, and with the visuals, like yeah. you said, and he got good management. Shout out to my yeah, man bro. Kyle. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm talking about. Hey. So they got good good, Shit, good situation going on over there. Mm-hmm. So you got some shout outs, homie. Uh no, no man, not really though. Man, man, you got somebody, no, bro. No, but I don't know, man. You, come if I say if I shout out two niggas, it's thirty other niggas. Oh, bro, you gonna charge it to you? That's when you, you know you gotta say charge it to you. Yeah. Uh, I mean, man, the whole, head, man. Man, man, the whole city. I can't even really just single out no one, two, seven people, man. The, the whole city rocking with me. I actually got a show tomorrow. So really? I, okay, and I don't really heard. perform all that much. This probably be my first time performing, probably in some years. Bro. How many years? I don't perform. <laughs> where at? What yeah, time? Where, 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 where? At, at the Cliff Club. Hey, Ooh. the new Cliff yeah. Club. Okay. At right the Cliff. So. Okay. The Cliff Club over in Beautiful. So, so, uh, so I'm going to I'll probably, I'll probably, I'll probably hit that bitch probably one. one okay. Oh, yeah. But uh, I'm hitting a lot of new songs off the new project and... But then you know I gotta end it with the fucking. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> hey, you gotta hit. Come I don't on walk now. the block until my feet Come hurt on the now. Slab. They got you. They that, 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 yo, yo, uh, my your partner, fans I, I, wanna I, hear that. When I went and got my hair cut, my other barber partner like, yeah, man, I'm coming out tomorrow. I know you finna run through all the oldest. I know you motherfucker. I'm finna run through all the goddamn oldest. Fuck that old. Not man. all of them. Bro, you gotta, but you gotta do that one. That one. You gotta do that one. That, really? I'm probably do about nine songs. I got okay. I got like nine songs on my playlist, and and that one is the last nine. one. It got yep. to be. That's it. Yeah. And that's, but, it's gonna go up. But I'm also gonna do a, a ball player reunion. So Ooh. so then we are gonna go through there on the ball player reunion. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's gonna be. Nice. So that's gonna be. Oh, you know what? We we forgot to talk about. Oh wait, wait, wait. Go wait. ahead. Oh, tell everybody your socials so they can find you. Man, I don't be fucking with that want, shit. No, man. On, I just man. don't be fucking with that shit. You like did that. say that. It's time for business, though. Yeah, 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 it is. For the business. Come on, now. It's we necessary. Get, you don't want to say I'm, that. Look, 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 I'm going to get A Ray to set all this shit up. I, I got, another, got me a new phone. And <laughs> okay. I, you know, you know yeah. they fuck with me because I'm not an iPhoner and shit. Like, I'm not, <laughs> we're got? not iPhoners Android. either. Well, don't just say Android like that. It, it, we are the, Android. The, the we still we, a Galaxy Z phone. We're still an ATL bitch. Come on, man. Come on, y'all know we got a better camera. Y'all know we got a better camera. I ain't quite an iPhone yet, but I'm leaning towards it. Y'all know the joke. Uh-uh, don't do it. iPhone is for old people. It's a cult. You know, you know, y'all you, know Android have a you better know, camera. Um, you know, like you normally uh, have um, your listeners give a Pimp C story. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got a badass Pimp C story. Oh. Yeah. Story time! I got a story I like to share, man. Come on, give it to me. <laughs> okay, so you know when Pimp came to town and was on some. Um, I went to Dallas and some bitches tried to test me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know when he said that? Yeah, I was, I was there. He got into it with my partner Ron. Ron Ron. I didn't I, I was a fan of Pimp, but I didn't know uh uh I didn't know Pimp yeah. personally. But I knew Ron personally. Yeah. So Ron had that he had that he had that motherfucking SK finna come back up there and kill Pimp about mm-hmm. that shit. I know. So look, so fast forward to where okay, so Ron got into it with well, it's it's really not kind of a Pimp C story. It's more of a Ron story, really. But Ron, fast forward, he got into it with my pimp partner, Capo. I know. In That's the my club. In uh the and, fair. And Capo, yeah. And Capo pulled like one of the metal posts out the ground and beat the shit out of Ron. See, they didn't say that story. Oh my God. You know Man, the story it, everybody said? What? This is the story. I'm gonna let you continue. They said that they got into it in the club over a chick. 
They skipped that part. No, 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 no. It wasn't over a chick. It was over uh Ron was a nigga that it was just a situation that Ron was a hothead, Capo was a hothead. Exactly. That wasn't finna end in just a fight. One of them was gonna die. It was just, whether it was well, how did they get the how, why did they get they, into they, it? Well, well, you gotta keep in mind, man, Capo, he was just a gorilla nigga. Yeah. So it, it could have been something as, as simple as a or something yeah. as simple as a just they just had a misunderstanding. Yeah. It wasn't finna be settled. But I was in New York at the time, and I'd normally be out with Capo, and I knew Ron. I beat myself up today that if I was there that it night. It wouldn't happen. Nah, bro, my bro, I yeah, could have yeah, mediated yeah. that. that I could have mediated you know it too. I could have mediated it. I was that. like, so God damn, that's cool. I, I, I came back from New York, and my chick at the time picked me up from the airport. And when, when I came up the walkway, she was looking at me and just crying like, mm. Capo gone, you know what I'm saying? But so they got into a scuffle, you know what I'm saying? Fighting Ron had some big old security, military-looking niggas with him. Yeah. So uh, I think v Dog and some other people was with uh, Capo. Capo. So they got into a scuffle, and uh, they was really getting the best of Capo near my hair. So he pulled out <laughs> He pulled out one of the metal posts and got the handling run. So Ron walked out the door to his car, get his pistol, walk back in that hole, and hit Capo. Yeah. Bah, 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 bah. So it killed him, all that. So Fast forward. Fast forward a little bit. Ron is uh going to he going to court for that. Mm-hmm. So the chick that was with Ron was going to testify in his behalf. No, he, he was going to say that. Oh yeah, I heard about that. He tell tell gonna, that story. Tell that story. He was going. She was going to say that Ron had did that. Ron went to I think it was the Crown Plaza. Oh, shot Burke. her. Tried to. He shot her. She didn't die. She paralyzed. She was paralyzed. I didn't even know he shot and her. And then it was a police standoff, and he shot himself. Yeah, and killed himself. Shot through the door, shot a cop. Then killed the turn the gun on himself. Fast forward it, Ron's son went up to Oregon and tried to and robbed a grow house. Killed a dude, a chick, another dude. He spurred, he killed everybody, but I think the baby. Came back to Dallas. It was a manhunt. Oregon was down here. Wow. Everybody. So he was he, he was he was riding around in a U-Haul van. So a dude off of um, 67 or 7-Eleven dude spotted him on a wanted poster when he came in 7-Eleven. Like, yeah. That dude just left. High speed chase in the U-Haul van, the yeah, Soto yeah, yeah. Laws behind him, mm. cornered him. He killed himself. Just like Ron. Just like his motherfucking daddy. Mm. Mm. What year was that? This was, oh, not nah, one. I, I, I don't even want to, I don't want, it was yeah. probably about 10, 11 years ago. But I really, it might be more than that. I don't really know the fact, but oh, yeah. just the fact that he met the same fate, fate. and went out just like his dad is. That is crazy. That's, that's a wild like, story. Uh, that's that's a crazy. Bobby Christine and Whitney. You ain't yeah, yep. You ain't yeah, yeah. He met the same. You the first person I know that know that I've talked to and know that know that backstory. You know, yeah, because. Yeah. I'm one of the ones that knew all three people too, and I could, you know, I had no man to talk to. It killed me. Like once again, I would have been right with uh, fuck. We was at the strip club every night. So I you knew I right knew. Did you, you knew I knew Capo, right? Yeah, because that Big Al album. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm, that hurt me. Yeah, but but you know, I also uh, like the feds. I think they told his mom or something that Capo was finna get picked up anyway. Mm. He was like on just some money laundering mm-hmm. and yeah, yeah, just yeah, some yeah. pimping and that just pimping some and shit. shit. The boy was the yeah. greatest pimp nigga I ever knew. That boy really? Was a fool. Yeah, he was, he was, he was Stone Cold's gorilla pimp nigga. And that nigga used to rap. Look, that nigga was a different yeah, type Andy, of rapper. Yeah, yeah, and he was, he was just, Ooh, he, I love he that had that nigga dog rapping. in him. He had that dog he in did, him. He did, but that nigga was DMX before DMX. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah man. I agree. He, so, was, he was definitely stomped down. So sure. the last person, because we can't leave this interview without talking about our brother Bowleg. Mm. Yeah. Talk about he told us a story of you helping him mm-hmm. and be, being instrumental in him creating his craft, honing his craft and writing. Yeah. You want to talk about that? Um, Leg, man, we always been partners, man. Like, once again, we we old cliff niggas, we street niggas. So yeah. uh, we always done, you know, kind of, you know, when he got, when Leg, um, the first time, you know, when he really had, like, some big money, 
he put it behind his niggas, a stampede artist yep. and all mm-hmm. that. So, mm-hmm. man, I, 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 none of them stampede niggas can ever be ungrateful because I sat and watched that boy spend three, four hundred thousand yes. on RVs mm-hmm. and taking 50 niggas of Houston and on Studio tour. Time, and all that, so, like, can't nobody ever be ungrateful about that. Mm-hmm. So, really, after that, you know, bro, money kind of dwindled a little bit, but, you know, it was like, I was always outspoken about, bro, you kind of the superstar nigga over here in this damn okay. shit. Put that, put that money behind yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, and then like, even, and then so really when we got to working on uh, his project, mm-hmm. it wasn't even about the money or about none of that no more. I got bro, money. Let's, mm-hmm. let's, let's, let's have some fun. Let's, <laughs> yeah. let's create, you know what I'm saying? Let's yeah. do that. So, man, we down there setting that boy in Paula and just, compared notes and he had shit and I'm just it wasn't no just me on some I'm writing for him. No, 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 you say on, that. It was on some uh, you know, uh man, say it like this. Yeah. yeah. What's that still? What'd you just say right there? Say it like that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? It was yeah. just kind of more on some coaching. Guy. Yeah, yeah. Coaching guy. Yeah. yeah, it's a good dude, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, I've been seeing him uh I saw him on stage at Real Life Street Stars. They they they're part of that big um all the OGs getting together trying to make a difference mm-hmm. in yeah, Dallas Yeah, 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 for sure. Matter of fact, we supposed to do some kind of event on the first. Yeah. So who who do you consider a legend in Dallas? Give me five niggas who you consider a legend in Dallas. So go your back. Pop, on, no, I'm gonna say go huh? back your to the playlist. Street. Uh, and, and I'm glad you said that because it's a, it's a it's a thin line between a street nigga mm-hmm. and a hip hop legend. But yeah, we'll, we'll say music first. They done all been on the show, haven't they? The legends? Mm-hmm. No. Uh, I'm going to put Pookie and Lucha in there. Mm-hmm. Because of the impact that they had on them first two projects. You can't take that away from them. Everyone's listening. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to, you know... You don't want to say nobody or you don't want to yeah, leave yeah, nobody yeah. out. Because I could say right now, DOC, yeah, for sure. DOC, decision. for sure. Yeah, can't forget about DOC. Uh, we say rappers, because I was about to say Erica Badu. Uh, so that's she, true. She, you damn, I got yeah, you got to put her on there. You got yeah. to put Badu. I heard on, on, oh, like my, on my partner, um, Jerron the Secret shit not too long ago. I heard her spit a verse. Hmm. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. stupid. Oh, yeah, day. yeah. She used to be a rapper, and I know she still got it. Yeah. yeah. So she's Erica. a writer. <laughs> you gonna put Erica in there? Yeah. No, nah, no. Nah, yeah, we, 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 nah, we, we, So we got Pookie Nucci. Say DLC. DLC. Trying to think who just. It's so many. I mean, I, it's so many people have done legendary things. Mm. And that, and with saying that, that's my point exactly. Is I think the word legend gets thrown around Loosely. too easy mm-hmm. in the city when I don't think there's no legends in the city. I I, I would could say it's some niggas who done accomplished yeah um, a little bit more, but nah, man. When I think of when when I think of legend and not even in the city, yeah, I think of some Jay Z status and some face, some Pac and some face. Like yeah. when I think of that. But locally, we haven't had that. Like, no, but we ain't done enough. So stop throwing that around like that. Yeah, yeah you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, even myself, like we don't have no platinum black, so and there ain't mm. none of us legends. So like, I really don't, I don't like that shit. That I anymore. disagree. But if you, but but like, you know what? And my and my barber Tutu said the same thing. Mm-hmm. He was like, bro, we consider you a legend because of how you All made right. us feel yeah. on certain projects. Well, see, but see, it days, depends but. on. Yeah. You can't ask the deal legends is. in my legend. I'm just saying you can't ask higher. industry people. Yeah. But if you ask the fans, the yeah. fans are going to yeah. say something different. Yeah. yeah. And, and I get that on, like like I say, man, when I'm feeling discouraged or when I'm feeling like, man, fuck this shit, it never fails. I'll be somewhere out to eat. I'll be somewhere and a young nigga will come up. And, yeah. yeah. Bro, is you such and such? Man, say, my boy, I rock. My daddy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, so it'd be like That's generations. That's legendary shit, bro. Nigga. It is. Mm-hmm. But it ain't, you know. It but is. We still gotta set ourselves and put that fucking. Sit the ball high. Got to, but bro. my yeah. thing is this, though. What I mean, according to who who sets the bar, though? Who sets the bar? The individual person. 
Yeah, yeah. And, and, and if it's the individual person saying that, then I guess yeah. he, he got that right to okay. think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got I, I got more work That's to do. Yeah. yeah, you don't want to be complacent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and I just and, and we all just ain't done enough. So so really. That's a, a to say you niggas don't get the feeling out fucking self and thinking you know, I'm just now that's a different I'm, conversation. I'm look at su- look at that such. camera. Look at that camera. Tell me there ain't no legends in this house. None of you niggas is legends. <laughs> I just you know never never get too comfortable. Don't never. get it's too real. comfortable. Yeah, so I mean that's really motivational talk. Yeah, I mean if, people might feel some type of way, but really. Nigga, Who we just got work to do, I, and then no like, and then especially when niggas would be like, "Man, I consider you legends with such and so like, son, 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 man, don't put me in that trick yeah. bag with them niggas." Don't. <laughs> I cate- be saying that too when people come up there with. Don't that categorize me with with certain niggas. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, I had one good song now, <laughs> maybe two. <laughs> yeah, you know so but it's just, but it's, it's more just, than just the music out. It's the it, it, it's the because uh, because yeah. like I say, we we paved the way in a yeah. sense. You know what I'm saying? So I, I like I respect and that. longevity yeah. can make people personal. Li- I respect that, well. but but it's just a lot come with that. Like, did you put your people on? Yeah. Uh, did you? You know, it's just, it's well, just that's a, another thing. What's your definition of a legend? And What's that's my what I'm saying. Yeah, like you say, putting your people on. Uh, well, since, well, well, me being a street nigga first and then a rap nigga, it's all mixed up together. Like, I consider a legend a nigga that took care of his family, yep. that mm-hmm. put his put his people on, put his yep. niggas on, that made good music, timeless music over the years, mm-hmm. yeah. that was a stand-up nigga in the streets. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. all that count. Like, I'm kind of old school. I come mm-hmm. from the old school mm-hmm. code, so all that count to yeah. me. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So... You gotta you gotta be still all the way around the board and, and it's almost it's it's almost like saying OG. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, and and I don't and, they and throw that, that word around loosely too. And bro. That terminology really can't get thrown around too. Like, nah, bro, nah, bro. Mm. Especially mm. if you wasn't no OG. Now. Yeah, they do. Well, they do. For real. <laughs> nah. Yeah, they do that. Yeah, <laughs> they call like, people OG because they old. Yeah. <laughs> OG. <laughs> that's what they mean to say. OG, not OG. No. Yeah. That's real, man. Yeah. Say, I got that brother in the house, man. I don't know whether to call him Kitchen Ken, a gator man, but a, a family of, man. A little bit of both. A little yeah. bit of both. Yeah, 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 You're the same both. person wrapped up in <laughs> yeah. one. Yeah. See, man, I appreciate you coming, bro. Man, me I so too. appreciate y'all having me. Man, you got to, I don't know, maybe we got to get you another year or so <laughs> before we get to you again. <laughs> yeah. but, but when the project get ready to drop. Yes, for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got to sure. promote. For sure. For you sure. gotta hit them streets for sure. for sure Shit you don't wanna do You gotta do Yeah yeah you know and, and, and a nigga about to get after This summer Like I said I'm dropping a project This summer So we got a video date set up We got shows And we got all that So we are gonna be in these streets And get active that You know what I need you to do though I need you to Probably have like A little listening session mm-hmm. Well I'm gonna I'm do A listening party For the whole project Let, let people pick your Pick your single yeah. yeah, don't get I, don't I, get I emotional kinda, with I, them I, singles, I, bro. I, no, I kind of slowly been doing that anyway. Like, cause okay. like I say, I've been working on this project down there about a year, year and a half. Yeah, yeah. So as as I'm like letting people hear songs mm-hmm. out there, they levitating to two. You mm-hmm. know, yeah. So you got some Mizarelli on there, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah. You know, Ooh, I gotta have my boy. Ooh, you know, I gotta have my boy. He did yeah, a song yeah. called Awesome Sauce on there. Yeah, so, yeah. I gotta have my boy on that thing. <laughs> okay. That nigga dope, ain't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mizzy the truth. He is the truth, man. Good people. Well, yeah, yeah. so humble. I, I just, that. I just want Mizzy to get a little more cocky. You know, me and Mizzy. He not though. He, he not. Got, he gotta get a little, little more cocky. I don't think that's. You know, I don't think that's in his bones. You know, me and Mizzy like I give him a hard time, like because like if we on line and he'll um like every nigga that'll drop something he gonna go up under that's dope bro he does yeah, fire, that's, he does i get right in his ear like, boy that shit will go up <laughs> 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 boy that shit will say. keep doing what you're doing I know bro it's just I gotta <laughs> uh, I, 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 Lizzie, you for real you gotta stop that even though he's that man I got business with him or he ain't fine man I don't care if he's a client or not you supposed to tell that nigga to tighten it up you don't get the garbage that nigga out of here <laughs> tell you, yeah, yeah, Mizzy, you can't be no yes man, bro. You gotta tell him that. Gotta tell that him that when that it's garbage. It. That is garbage for real. That ain't. He it. is not gonna do that. He is not he gonna do nice. it. Nah, he not gonna do it. He not. And my boy, he not gonna do it. Mizzy can't be the one. How you gonna be a how you gonna be a producer and you? Mizzy, gonna stay neutral to get that bag. 
He is not finna tell a nigga that's buying beats from him that he, all he needs is hey, one hit. I can't though. disagree with him there. He just need one hit. <laughs> he get that one yeah, hit yeah, up yeah, on his he, belt. But it, but it, but his work ethic is so good, and he got so and he work with so many people. He gonna get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get that one hit, he, he'll change up. Yeah. I mean, no, it ain't, it's not know. it's He'll not the producer job to tell you that you ain't jamming. I'm just providing the beat. Yeah, it is. Uh, I tell you, you that want, ain't you, it, nigga. Whatever garbage go you want to throw the, on it. Go back and rewrite that one, bro. <laughs> Don't pay me. Them old, that <laughs> no. 12 or that 16 wasn't <laughs> no, it, bro. That ain't Aaron it, my boy. No. That ain't no, it. That ain't it, my boy. I don't even want, I don't want to put my beat up under that. Mm-hmm. But niggas on swole, I would People hate gonna be like the beat jamming. Swole, you know me no good. Swole, I would <laughs> hate him jumping in my inbox talking about, bro, listen to this, so, Nah, my boy, that ain't the thing. Imagine, right Gator, there, my boy. People gonna be like the beat With jamming. a platinum hit. You just gonna let anybody rap on your beats? Nah, you ain't. Anybody that's spending their bag. They got the right, okay. Point, okay. But if they boo-boo, if it's a trash-ass nigga and then he got a nice little 30, 40 piece, okay, you gonna you try, go. but you gonna try to guide him. Have fun. You gonna try to make it a hit. It ain't my point to Thank guide you. him. Thank you. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Y'all niggas wrong. That's all I'm saying. Hey, y'all niggas wrong for that, man. I'm not an A&R. You ain't that. Thank you. You ain't asking me. You asking me to provide a... But look, but with the times now... Mm. A nigga could spit what I think is garbage on it, and that bitch go triple you play. Go. You ain't fucking lying. So who am I to tell? Because all his garbage personal yeah, yeah. taste is this. Because yeah. all his uh, garbage fans right there waiting. No, I'm just playing. Got a lot of those. <laughs> I didn't mean to say garbage fans, <laughs> but yeah. But I'm just saying they gonna come for you. One man's man. trash. Okay. Who we man? Hmm. Another man's trash. Damn show was one man's trash. Okay. Showing a couple of niggas he was talking about though. Five, five, five. One man's dumpster juice. Yeah. That boy put that fire emoji on there. Not dumpster juice. <laughs> like, yeah, bro. With the strong you know, he really be like, that's say, the that's real it, thing. my boy. That's dumb. He really be selling this <laughs> Measy, boy, you don't stop that shit. And keep him coming back. <laughs> Measy, I love you, baby. It's the Measy beat. <laughs> I love you, Measy. We what up, one Measy? The what up, Measy? <laughs> <laughs> say, man. <laughs> I got Gator Man in the house. Hell, you mean? Uh, a real super, super tight guest. No, I'm gonna get some game tuned in with super tight. Yeah, I get the low love from Big Bobo from the front seat, not no photos.